Hey, San Antonio City Councilman Manny Pelias for District 8. Today, I am over here at uh, De Zavala and something special is happening on De Zavala and that is no construction crews. And that's because we're finished. Um, I'm with Eric Walsh, my dear friend and city manager. Eric, you and I just did our walkthrough on De Zavala. What do you think? I'm excited. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's a lot different than it was uh, 35 years ago when I used to drive this road. Uh, a small two-lane farm to market road but but today beautiful median white sidewalks bike lanes uh proud of public works did a great job of managing the project and getting it done yeah and re remember folks this is a bond project right so we went to the public and said what do you want to see and the public came back and said we really would like to see some improvements on days of all because it, it became a headache for all of us on district eight um and the public resoundingly approved the project and then what we do is we hand it off to our public works guys and they did a pretty fantastic job. I um, I almost uh, am thinking of canceling the rest of my day and going and getting my bike <laughs> because this features bike lanes for the yeah. first time ever on Days of Alla and sidewalks. And I, I wanted to ask you, when you were a kid, right? And, uh, you know, did you ever get to see kids going to Clark High School walking and what did that look like? You know, although I didn't go to Clark, but I had a lot of friends that went there, nobody rode bikes on Clark High School, or yeah. uh, Days of Allah. Yeah, you take so, your life in your own hands yeah, back it, then. It was a small country road, and, and the problem is is that the neighborhoods grew up around that small road, and that's one of the reasons why it was a top priority for this community uh, in the last bond program. Yeah, and, and folks, I there is absolutely no hiding the ball on this one. All of us got sick and tired of the construction and it took longer than we'd ever wanted the construction to take for a lot of reasons. Um, but one of the things that, that we take very seriously is making sure that we finish these projects on budget. And I'm happy to say that, you know, we met our obligation on that one. But Eric, when, when these projects take extra time to build because of weather or because of mistakes that the contractor made or because of shortage of, of materials, what do you guys do as a policy to make sure that we learn from that, but also to make sure that we've got stop gaps to keep it from happening? Yeah, part of that is making sure that we're contracting with the with contractors that can perform the work. Uh, that's key. Um, and, and invariably in any sort of large project like this, they're going to encounter problems. It's how we communicate to the neighborhood. It's how we manage through with the contractor. And then if, if need be, bring in somebody else to help do that work. There you go, folks. I brought your city manager to do a final walkthrough. I'm happy with the road. I think you're happy with the road. Um, we are, uh, I'm, I drive my children on this road every single morning to take, them to take them to school. I think it's a safe road. I'm proud of you, San Antonio, for being so patient uh, during these projects. I know that projects are a hassle, but once the projects get done, well, the results are evident. Be safe, San Antonio. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Thank you.